this video of today you are going to learn how to use microsoft paints which is a simple graphics editor so follow me as i walk you through on how you can use that to complete some tasks here we are on the screen of our computer so the first step we would like to take is to open the paint app okay so click on the start menu and then click on the search section and type paint this is the paint app so select the best match after the paint app is open the next step i want us to take is to take a screenshot and then paste inside the paint application interface so press the print screen key of your computer keyboard then after the screenshot is taken i will go back to the paint application and then paste it for me to paste it i have to tap click on the paint the paste icon and the picture is now placed in the paint app let us now crop this picture for us to crop it we have to click on the crop icon Okay, so position your cursor well, just as you can see on the screen right now, then and drag in one direction. So I'm dragging in, and this part of the picture is now cropped out. Then I can decide to drag up for this part to be cut out as well. Okay, then for us to crop this side and the top, we need the top part here we need to rotate the image so i'll tap on the rotate icon then select rotate y80 i can then position my cursor well and then drag in then scroll down and then drag up okay so with this i have cropped out this part of the picture so let me return the picture back to how it was so that we can do other things. Okay, let's assume I'm using this picture you're seeing on the screen right now to teach my students something. Or oh, I'm a writer and I want to use it to teach them something. So I want to highlight or point at the Fire Explorer icon, okay, on this picture. So and I'm going to do that using shape. So the first thing I have to take, the first step I have to take is to click on the shape. And here I want to use an arrow shape. So I'll click on it. Then take my cursor down, press down the left button of my mouse and hold on it. Then I will drag to how I want it. Then after that, I can reposition it the way I want to have it. So as you can see, you can see the, the double cross, or let's say double line here. So once I see that, I can then drag to any position I want, okay? Then I'll leave it. I'm okay with the position the shape is right now. Okay, I may not like the thickness of this arrow, as you can see on the screen right now. If I want to change the thickness, what I will do is to tap the size and ensure the, the shape is already selected before you take this action, just as you can see here. So as it's selected, I'll tap on the size section and then select the thickness I want. If I go with this 8 pixel, it will be larger. If I decide to go with lesser pixel size, maybe three, you can see it's smaller. All right, what of if I want to import a new picture into this interface? It's simple. What I need to do is to click on files, select open. 
this will open the file explorer section of my computer so let's assume the picture i want to import is this i'll double click on it then if you ask him, do you want to save your work that's the one i was working on before i said don't save i don't need it so as you can see this picture is now inserted in my microsoft paint app if i want to change the size of this picture right now it's possible all i need to do is to click on the size icon which is the icon you can see there where my cursor is i'll click on it then i can choose the percentage between percentage and pixel so if i want to change it in percentage i'll leave it as percentage but if i want to change it in pixels i will select the pixels option then here you can see it's now 900 by 600 pixel as you can see on the screen right now but if i want to make it maybe something smaller i have to change the value and once i change a value the other side is automatically changed let's see how it works you can see let's say i want to have 195 this one is assigned automatically but if i don't want that i would then click on this link icon so you can see i can have a value here on my own and then insert the value i want to have in the vertical section this I want to have 900 here, then I want to have 700 here. After that, I will tap on OK. This has impacted on the size of this picture you can see on the screen right now. You can also change the ink color of any shape you have in this application. So let me illustrate that. Let's say I want to work with this rectangle. I'll tap on it, take it down to the picture section, press down the left button of my mouse, and drag in one direction. Okay, so I can reposition it. Okay, as you can see, this is black in color. Let me change the thickness. Okay, you can see the black color. So I want to change this color to maybe white. Or any other colors all i have to do is under this color category i will tap on any color i want okay okay you can see this have changed to white color in terms of the shape all right so that is how you can change the color of the shape you have in paint application what of if i want to add a text to this design it's possible all you need to do is tap on the text icon you can see it here under tools then get to the part of the picture where you want to add the text and then click on it then start typing what you want to type this is test sample after you are done typing you can decide to change the font size as well so we select all then to change the font size come to the font section and then select a bigger number or a smaller number okay so the 20 is too big so let me get to something smaller as you can see after i change the size some text are hidden so i will gently increase this box See our position, my mouse, my cursor, and then drag it. You can see all the text now shows up. If I want to align to the left, to the right, sorry, I'll tap on that. I want to align to the center, I'll tap on this. If I want to on board, I'll tap on this. But I like how it is on board. If I want to italicize, Go with this i want to underline go with this option so this is how to you know use text in microsoft paint also if you want to change the font type so tap on this and select a new font of your choice you can use brush to apply ink in a picture you have in the paint app okay so this is the brush tool so i can click here and then you select the type of brush you want so let's go with this 
eyebrows. Then get to the section you want to apply the ink and then you move on the picture by first pressing down the left button of your mouse. Okay, so just move it around and you see the brush is applied. Okay. You can erase any part of the picture you do not want using the eraser tool. So I would like to import a new picture to explain this. Taking a look at the picture on the screen right now, maybe I don't want this full email address to display. I can use the eraser tool to erase the part I don't want to display. Okay, so I will tap on the eraser tool. Then take my cursor down to the part I want to erase, press down the left button of my mouse and drag in one direction. As you can see, this has been erased. But note, depending on the background of the picture, you can change the color of the ink you are using for the erasing of some parts of the photo. Okay, so for example, now I want to go with black. So I can tap on this section first, then I tap on black. Then I get to this side and then erase this part so just do it the way you want to use it okay you can use the zoom tool to zoom the picture you have on the paint app and here we are this is the zoom tool so if you click on this then you take the tool down take your cursor down to the parts you want to zoom press down press keep clicking it keeps on zooming out okay if you want to reduce the zoom you can take your cursor down to the bottom right then reduce this percentage okay just get to the level you want and then stop now after you have edited the picture you have on paint up the next step you are likely to take is to save your picture so let me walk you through on how you can do that. The first step you need to take to save a picture is tap on the file style. Select save as. Select the format you want to save the picture in. And in this case, I want to go with JPEG. Now give the picture a name of your choice. Let's say paint sample. After giving it a name, just tap on save button and you are good to go. So with this, you have learned how to use Microsoft Paint app. If this video helps you, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you.